Hi, in this video, we'll learn how to create NumPy identity arrays. First, let's import NumPy as usual. An identity array is a square array containing ones on the main diagonal. It's the one going from the upper left corner to the lower right corner, and zeros elsewhere. We use the identity function to create such an array. Have a look. Let's create a 5x5 five five square array. A equals np identity 5 print a as we can see we have ones on the main diagonal and zeros on other positions and now we want the type to be integer we can do it like so b equals np identity 3 d type equals int print b and here we have it 3 by 3 and once on the main diagonal here's an even shorter syntax we can write it like so c equals np identity a int print c and now we have an 8 by 8 identity array filled with integers there's another function that you can use to create an identity array is the i function. Here's how you can use it. In its basic form, we can use it just like the identity function. This will create a square array. Have a look. d equals np i 4 print d. This is what we get. But the array doesn't have to be square. We can set the number of rows and columns. Have a look. E equals NPI four rows, eight columns. Print E. And now we have the diagonal over here, and the other positions are filled with zeros. We can also reposition the diagonal. If we set the k argument to a positive number, the diagonal will be moved up that number of times. The default value of k is 0. This corresponds to the main diagonal. So let's move the diagonal up twice. f equals np i 4 rows 8 columns k equals 2 print f as you can see now the diagonal is repositioned if k is set to a negative number the diagonal is moved down have a look g equals npi 4 rows 8 columns k equals negative 1 print g now the diagonal is repositioned again and now let's move the diagonal three places up and change the type to int here's how we can do it h equals npi four rows, eight columns, k equals three, d type equals int, print h. Here's the result. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. 
If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.